the summer season is really long, off season is really long always. It's a lot of lifting and conditioning, so it's always good to finally get to play basketball for two hours a day instead of lifting and conditioning. And we're really excited to get going this season. Actually, go up and down has been uh, really hard. Uh, but it's been a process, you know, build, rebuilding the team. You know, we lost a couple of great players last year, so everybody's trying to find their role. So it's been actually, it's been long, but it's been fun. There's going to be at least two new starters, right? And it's going to be interesting to see if there won't be three and, you know, how the roles change from year to year to year. You know, I thought last year you saw a big change in Jasmine, what she was able to do for us from the year before to this year. So we've had people really do drastic changes from year to year. And it's exciting to kind of see the pieces start to come together and, and try to speculate who would go where at this point would be crazy, but it's it's nice to have those options and interested to see how the chips kind of fall over the next month and a half of practice. Mainly I'm very excited for a season ready to get back out there and play, ready to wear the Ohio logo and just be able to represent this university in the best way that I can. Um, as a team, I think we got to work on our chemistry and getting to know each other on the court and learn know what certain people want and like to do. I tell all my friends and my parents every day how excited to finally play again. It was a long, I think it was like 20 months or something like that I didn't get to play. So I'm really, really excited just to get back on the floor. I think the first game is going to be an adrenaline rush just because I haven't been out there in so long, but I'm really excited. Probably the expectations of winning. Um, having a senior class that's had a taste of the NCAA tournament and uh, trying to figure out a way to get back to that spot. That's, that's the challenge with how to do that. So, but that's what these guys want. These guys don't want to play teams that we're supposed to win. They want to, they want to compete. They, they, that senior class has always competed. Even when we failed, they tried as hard as they could. We just weren't very good. Um, and I think it's our job, from a coaching standpoint, to put together a resume that if we win, we can be considered. And you know, being in the first four out last year, kind of gave you the idea that we were on the right track, we are probably a game or two short. So we want to make sure that we give that class every opportunity to go to the NCAA tournament. Uh, something I picked up just being on the bench is how intense they are uh, defensively here, and I think that's something I like really love about this team is we're really intense and that's why we're so good and we hold each other accountable. And so just being able to hold my teammates accountable as well as them holding me accountable is going to be really big this year. I mean, I, actually, it's kind of funny because our freshman year, I used to hate playing here because nobody was here. And then when people started coming, it was just like, oh my god, we actually have fans. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Uh, my family's planning on coming to every single home game and every single away game that they can make. So I'm excited just to play in front of them because I have a great support system. And I know that OU fans are like the best fans in the max. So <laughs> I definitely can't wait to play in front of them again.